The most important lesson that I've learned over the last 20 years could be summed up in one little five-letter word, trust. And so I want to ask you, do you trust the one who's holding your life? When I was a little girl, I thought I could fly. After watching Mary Poppins, I even jumped out of my mother's bedroom window with an umbrella. And as my left ankle and her rose bushes could attest to, I can't fly. But if I was on a swing and my sister was pushing me and I had my eyes closed, I felt as if I was flying. One day I opened my eyes and discovered that my sister was sitting in the grass and it was the neighborhood bully who was pushing the swing. And I was terrified. I wasn't going any higher. I wasn't going any faster, but I didn't trust him. And that's my question for you. Do you trust the heart of the hands of the one who is moving your life? I've begun to ask myself, Lord, what does it look like if I don't trust you? I've come up with two or three things. Do I feel a need to be in control of what's going on around? Do I often feel afraid? And perhaps most painfully, do I sometimes feel disconnected from God? and from those closest to me, as if there's like an invisible veil there, and I'm just taking a step back into my life. I decided to ask God to show me what it would look like to trust Him, and He took me right back to His Word. And I followed 10 men and women from Genesis all the way through to the book of Revelation and looked at where they started in their journey of trust, what happened in the middle, and where they ended up. And these traveling companions have helped me see what it looks like and I can tell you honestly today, I trust God. I get up every morning and I say, Father, I don't know where you're going today, but wherever you are going, I'm coming with you. And Lord, if you're pushing the swing, then all I have to say is this, higher, Father.